Hello students, in this video we'll discuss similar matrices. We say that two n by n matrices A and B are similar if there's an invertible matrix P such that A is equal to P inverse B P. Okay. Now let's discuss this idea of similarity, right? So first note that we're going to prove this is actually an equivalence relationship, right? So the first property is that this is a reflexive property. Okay. Because clearly A is similar to itself. And that's what we're going to do to write similar. We'll write A tilde B for A similar to B. So A is similar to itself. The proof of that is straightforward because A is equal to the identity inverse A, the identity. So that's how that works. It's symmetric. Okay. So if A is similar to B, then if and only if B is similar to A, how do you prove that over there? Well, if A is similar to B, that says that A is equal to P inverse B, P, which is equivalent to saying that what? Which is equivalent to saying that B is equal to, I'll hit by P, A, P inverse, right? So in other words, replace P by P inverse, and you get the symmetric relationship. And finally, it's transitive. If A is similar to B, and B is similar to C, then A is similar to C. Okay, how does this get proven? If A is P inverse B, P, and B is equal to, let's say, S inverse, S inverse C, S, then what can I say about A and C together, right? Well, what I can do is I can replace this B over here with that expression. So by combining these things over here, so what can I say? I can say that A is therefore what? A is therefore equal to P inverse of S inverse C with an S. S inverse C with an S. And then a P, right? And so this, of course, is equal to S P inverse by our rules for inversion, C S P. And that says that A is similar to C. Great. So it's a so it's a equivalence relationship, which is wonderful. Now I'll prove some other properties. Here's the, the one of the most important ones: property prop. Let A be similar to B, and P A of T. P B of T be the characteristic polynomials okay then P A of T is equal to P B of T right then P A they have the same characteristic polynomials P A of T is equal to P B of t. Okay, so let's prove that. So how does this get proven? Proof is as follows. So what is PA of t? It's equal to the determinant of t times the identity, t times the identity operator minus a, or you can write it as a minus c times the identity, it doesn't matter. You can use either convention, you get a, a, a negative one to the n outside of the characteristic function. Some books will say a minus t times the identity, others say t minus the identity, it's irrelevant, right? You, it's up to a choice of sign, they're both correct. Okay, good. All right, but now what I'm going to do, so I know that a is similar to b, since a is similar to b, that says that a is equal to what? Is equal to p inverse b p. Okay, so I'm going to feed that into this expression over here. So now I can write this as the determinant of, I'm going to fill in, I'm going to write the identity as just P inverse P like that, because that P, P inverse of the identity, minus P inverse B, P. And now I can factor this, because everything commutes over here. This is going to be the determinant of P inverse. 
and then T identity, T identity minus B, and then a P on the other side like that, right? And so now I can use properties of determinants. This is going to be determinant of P inverse times determinant of T identity minus B by the product structure of the determinants times determinant of P. But now I know that the determinant of P inverse and the determinant of P are going to cancel because they're reciprocals of each other. And so that's just going to be equal to the determinant of what? Of T identity minus B, which is just the characteristic equation of the B matrix. So they have the same characteristic polynomial over here. Great. All right, so now an immediate consequence of this, an immediate corollary, since they have the same characteristic functions, this immediately implies a corollary, which means that if A is similar to B, then the eigenvalues of A, the spectrum of A, is equal to the spectrum of B. In other words, they have the same set of eigenvalues as the immediate consequence of this. We can also show other properties of similar matrices. For example, I know that this structure over here will say that the rank of A, if I have this over here, that would say that the rank of A is bigger than or equal to the rank of B, since matrix multiplication can only contract the rank. And then if I put the P on the other side, that would say the rank of B is greater than or equal to the rank of A. So this relationship also tells me, I get a corollary from this, that this expression over here says that the rank of A has to be equal to the rank of B if, if they are similar matrices. So we get lots and lots of structure from similar matrices, and we'll see in further video how to use the structure of similarity to get other results about matrices that have this property. Thank you very much.